Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be showing you guys our nighttime routine, sort of say. Um, it is primarily the same thing every single night, but if you have a child that has special needs, autism specifically, you know how hard it is at night for them, for you, and I do want to be very transparent with you guys, very open with you guys like I've always been, and I want to share how we get through our night. So we have a to-do list, and on this to-do list, I am going to be cooking dinner, I'm going to be cleaning the kitchen, we got baths, we got hair, we have all of these different things that we're gonna have to try to tackle. They need to be in the bed at eight o'clock. We are going to try and get it done. What you need? Mm. I need the rice cooker. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> That's what happens when you got a husband at 6'5". <laughs> Got a personal you. slave. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make this, but you are on diaper duty. Hi. Hi. Do you have? Do you have everything done that you're supposed to? Lotion, deodorant, school clothes out. You stink. <sighs> so if you guys don't know, Miko is three years old. She's autistic and nonverbal, and no, she is not potty trained yet. So we are still changing diapers. So as you can see, I got a new cookbook. It is all completely vegan, and we are going to try a chickpea curry. I'm hoping that this is going to be something we all love and something we can all incorporate more into our everyday eating. Does anyone else hate cutting onions? I always cry when I do, and then I can't finish anyway, so I don't even know why I even try. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, <laughs> I almost had it. Uh, you want hot water or cold water? Cold water. Cold. Where you at? So I can't eat. You got me? I don't know why I do that to myself. I don't need it. Carla almost died in the kitchen. The kids are having tablet time for however long until dinner. We're not usually too strict as long as they've done all of their chores. I love to tune out everyone and listen to music while I either cook or clean. It helps me concentrate and stay focused. My playlist usually consists of Lucas Graham, Miley Cyrus, Luke Combs, Rihanna, Kanye, and Don Tolliver. What are you doing? I kind of need it. I got it. I gotta cook by myself. Okay. I'm absolutely in love with this cookbook by Healthy Girl Kitchen, AKA Danielle Brown. She has created a way to help anyone transition into a vegan lifestyle with delicious but easy breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert ideas. As I said before, we are focused on helping our autistic kiddos live their best life and eating healthy is a top priority as comfort food contributes to the lack of nutrients they actually need daily. I do understand that this will not be easy and it will come with a lot of trial and error, but I'm committed to giving them the help I didn't have. If you followed my journey, you know I had weight loss surgery in 2021 and was obese most of my adult life. I suffer from PCOS and sensory processing disorder, so I lived off of comfort food and no matter what I did to lose the weight, it was impossible. I hope to slowly roll in these new eating habits each day and continue to work on their general health as they grow. Oh, 
All right, it's 5.03. I got one more minute left for the bread, so we're on top. This is pita bread. This is um, chickpea curry, and that's rice. Is it so nasty that you can't eat it, or is it just something that you just don't prefer? Don't prefer. Let's see what we can do with you. We'll try this. Can we try this? No? Do you want to hold it? Oh, okay. That did not go. Actually, it went exactly as planned, so. All right, it's 7.03 and even though we had some detours to take with the food, we are right on time. You guys know we've struggled with bath time and about a month ago, we finally solved our problem after three months with no baths by buying an inflatable tub and she has been loving it ever since. Chris and I tag team on bath night. He bathes her and I get her lotioned up and dressed and it's usually good from here. not wearing this you had that on already Miko cut it out no you're not wearing this okay you have this on You already had it on. Didn't you already have it on? You already had it on. Right. Yay. Okay. Good job. Job. Okay. All right. Do I use this one? Yeah. And this one? Come on. Me. I'm gonna let you try it and then I'm gonna do the rest. Come on, here. Miko, here. All right. Yep. Ch -ch -ch -ch. It did it. Yes. Miko has been sucking her thumb since she was three months old and it caused some problems with the shape of her mouth and as well as issues with certain foods that she eats. We've been to the dentist and the doctor basically said because she uses her thumb to stem, it's not much we can do, but also that it's not a problem until she is around four or five. 
We try to keep her busy throughout the day to help minimize her thumb sucking, and at this point, only time will tell. Cheese. Because Miko has sensory issues, we have a hard time with hair day, so I detangle a little each day. Someone suggested that we change to different types of brushes. Well, I found this round wood bamboo brush on Amazon, and it works so well. My mouth is literally on the floor. And someone suggested this steel bristle brush that is absolutely amazing. As you can see, she barely felt it. We are also incorporating silk ties to minimize hair pulling and dirt buildup. I'll let you guys know how well it holds up after a few days. All right, all done. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, it is like 7.35 and we actually got everything done. The only thing left is to get these kids into bed. Okay, cook, cook, cook. Let's go. <laughs> what? What's over there? Come here. Mom, show me. Show us. See the lights. What? It's dark outside. Time for bed. You got this one already in. Come here. Come here. Look. Watch this. See it? can see it is 7 44 we are done they're in the bed i'm going to bed because i'm tired so yeah i just want to scream in a pillow but that's our nighttime routine and uh we'll see you guys next time <laughs>